This is the Real Eyes Recognized Podcast. Now your hosts, Dustin Gutkowski and UFC fighter, Kevin Hollis. Hi, Aaron. Hey, what's up? How you doing there? Good, how are you? Not bad, not bad. We're good. Yeah. Let's get it started. Sorry we were late. No Kevin problem. was on time as always. So we, yeah. we were... Kevin was being a diva. So CPT. It's really a thing, you know? <laughs> yeah. He, he was it's saying we don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> he was saying we didn't understand. Only you main event fighters get it. So, yeah. I mean, you know, true, true. Yeah. It's part yeah. of being the main event. You know, you just get it two or three yeah. in, you know, you'll be late to everything. Don't worry. You'll turn Smash black it. too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Aaron. Well, thank you for being here with us today. I want to go ahead and just jump into it. So you have a fight coming up here soon. And um, I actually heard that you and your manager had planted a seed at first a long time ago that you were wanting a five round fight and now you're actually getting it. So can you talk a little bit about that, that like that mindset when you were talking about doing that and how long did it take for you to actually get this? Yeah. So when um, they first offered me the fight against Talia, uh, I wanted five rounds because I know she was number two. So I know beating her means probably title fight next or really close to it. Um, so I wanted that five round experience. Um, like initially it wasn't, they basically like told me no, um, but I still wanted the fight anyway. So I took it. Um, and then literally like a week ago, uh, they asked me if I'd still be down to fight five rounds. And I was like, yeah, of course I, I already asked for that like a couple of weeks ago. Um, so yeah, it kind of just came up and worked out perfect. Yeah. This is your first main event. Yeah. It's my first main event. Congratulations. Thank you. Have you ever been five rounds before besides UFC, like before you got to the UFC? No, um, I was supposed to with Invicta. I had a title fight um, matchup and then the girl like fell out like literally like two weeks before. Um, so I never had a five round. I was prepping for a five round fight, but I never got it. So it was my first five round fight. Oh, yeah. They're fun. More time to work, right? You know, I'm excited. I feel like I have really good cardio and I feel like if I had a bunch of five round fights, I'd probably have some more finishes because I know a lot of other people get tired and I feel like I can always keep going. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the five rounds. Yeah, I can never keep going after about three. I'm like, yeah, fuck this. So props <laughs> to you. You know what I mean? Because, uh, yeah, but. A lot of times we don't realize when we get the main event slot, you know, something that we ask for. I think five rounds are awesome. I think if you're getting close to a title fight, whether you're main event or not, it should kind of offer that five round feature for you just for that experience. But what about the main event slot, the extra media that comes your way? You know, fight week. It's it's a lot of media. How do you feel about that? Um, You know, I, I haven't thought about it too much, to be honest. I feel like I, I kind of know what some of the media is like already. Maybe it'll be a little bit more, but. I feel like it won't really bother me. Um, it's just kind of part of it. And uh, I've really been kind of just focusing on being ready for those five rounds. Um, and whatever media comes with it, I know I'll be able to handle. So, is it? Did I read something? Is that what you were going to school for? Was for that you want to be a commentator or analyst? What What was it? And we're going to school for like marketing or uh, that? Is that? Yeah, I went to college for a little bit. I was uh, like a sports media like major because. Um, nice. Yeah, when I first went into college, I was like a bio major because I, I was pretty good at that in high school. And then I once I started fighting professionally, I was like, I'm probably not going to really do anything with that. So I switched it over to sports media because uh, I figured after fighting, I'd probably try to uh, work my way into that kind of world. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, how, when did you make your major pro de uh, debut with Invicta? Is that what you said? Uh, I didn't make I made my pro debut with CFC and then I signed with Invicta right after. What what year did you make? Did you have your first pro fight? Um, I, it was 2018, I believe. I was like 18 years old. Oh wow! Yeah, you're 23, right? Yeah, I'm 23. Well, that's incredible. 23 in a main event. Congratulations. Thank you. What yeah. got you into the MMA world? When did you start uh, MMA? Uh, well, I started training like martial arts when I was seven years old. Um, my younger brother actually already started training and I had just, I, I did dance when I was like super young. Um, and I just quit doing that cause I kind of was getting bored of it. Um, and I went to the gym to watch him train. And I remember, I guess at the time I didn't think like girls really did it. So there was a girl there that was like a black belt. Cause it was kind of like a little bit more of like a traditional, uh, martial art place. And I remember going to my dad and be like, Oh my gosh, like girls can be black belts. So like, that was like a big oh. deal. And she offered me like an introductory class. Uh, and I took it and I, I loved it. So I fell in love with training, uh, like kind of honestly right away. And I started competing, uh, only like a couple months after, um, like training. And then it kind of just 
like snowballed from there. Well, what was your dad as a girl dad? I'm like, am I going to have to face when my daughter that comes? Was my next question. Yeah. Like, what did dad say? What did dad say? <laughs> no, my, my dad loved it. Um, cause both my parents honestly loved it. Cause they wanted me and my brother to learn how to like defend themselves. Um, and then even when we started competing, like, my dad would drive me around to all the gyms to try to get the best training I could. My mom would come, both my parents would come and watch all my competitions. Uh, so both my parents are, are always super supportive and still are. Oh, that's, that's awesome. lovely. That's the way yeah. to do it. Right. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's I told you. Not everybody. Yeah. Is that. I'm, I'm uh, open ass. <laughs> yeah. I remember like I had a little karate competition one time. I tried to do karate when I was younger. This girl kicked me in the nuts. Might have been her. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> so, yeah. I quit karate after. Yeah. yeah, I was like, screw this. Yeah. Did, did you kick Kevin in the nuts for the record? He probably <laughs> deserved it, so it's okay. Uh, no, I don't know. And I don't think that was me. It looked, yeah. it looked the girl looked like you to be honest. So it's, you know, we're talking about I think it. I'm having flashbacks, you know. It's like just thinking about it. It's okay though. Let's, We'll, we'll we'll try and think about something else here. Outside of fighting, is there anything that you're into or anything about you that would kind of I guess shock some of your fans that like to watch you that you enjoy doing? Um, <clears throat> no, I mean, I feel like outside of fighting, I'm a pretty, I guess, pretty average 23 year old. You know, I like hanging out with my friends, going out. I mean, obviously, when you're camp, it's kind of limited. So, um, can't really go out to eat or like go to clubs and stuff like that, but uh, go out for coffees and shopping. And, um, yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy. It's pretty much, uh, like anybody else. I think that's why I like some. Friends can kind of be surprised when I when I do fight and they see me. They like because some of my friends, like especially my last one in MSG, uh, a bunch of them came out to come actually watch me fight, and I think they're like kind of shocked when they see me do that versus like seeing me after. Right. I mean, sure. well, I mean that's different. Even alone, just the fact that you're 23. Most people at 23 are, you know, taking this time to have some fun, you know, and party and, and do these things. And you're not. Um, you're focused on something else. Do you ever? Do you do you get a hard time? with that from your peers or are you just so focused where you're like, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I definitely do. I feel like, yeah, I really don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. Cause even when I was in college for a little bit, um, honestly, it kind of was just like a job to me. I would go to school and then come back and I'd train and I was already pro. So I was already pretty focused. Um, and I wasn't really doing much anything else besides like school and training. And, uh, the couple of like close friends that I do have, like understand that and they support me. So I, I definitely have like a smaller circle because of it, but the friends that I do have are super supportive. So I don't really care about anything else, you know, Man, my friends would hate on me at that age. I was 23. <laughs> yeah, I was on the streets cool. at 23. I was definitely not focused like that. That's all. Awesome. That's a, yeah, I, was, I was not. What, where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. Yeah, was the, the East coast. Well, right? It's cold out there. huh? Yeah. So yeah. how was it fighting uh, at MSG being from New Jersey? Is that where you grew up to? Yeah, yeah, I grew up in New Jersey. Yeah, like my, I was born in New York and my family, like my parents are from New York and uh, like all my extended family live in New York. Um, but I was raised in Jersey, but uh, we always kind of would go back and forth, especially on the weekends, stuff like that to see family. Um, so fighting at MSG was something I, like once I went pro, was something I always wanted to do, uh, especially because I trained at a, uh, Henzo Gracie NYC for a while. And I would like pass it all the time, taking the train in uh, from Jersey. And um, I knew of a couple of fighters that fought there. And it's just, I know how it's kind of, it's such a, like a Mecca for like sports, especially in like combat sports. Um, so that was, that was definitely a huge deal. And I'd love to do it again too. It was, it was awesome. Yeah. I bet. And you, it was a big fighter that the crowd was super supportive. I mean, that's one of the biggest names in <laughs> the female fighters i mean her name was huge and you just it wasn't even close i mean it it was a credit to you i mean you just destroyed it i, was, I felt bad for a second i was like okay they need to stop this like you did i mean you like we walked in to look i was like oh man that's not good for the other girl and it just it was bad yeah i love watching you fight I'm thank horrible. you badass I watch ufc fights so much yeah well you Kev, did you see kevin's fight at msg it was actually a good one too I didn't get no fighting machine. <laughs> almost. Kevin, Kevin almost got into. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. It was the other guy next to me. Yeah. It, things mm. get mixed up all the time. It just wasn't me. Believe me. Believe me. It wasn't me. Yeah. I know what the camera angles may look like if you've seen the videos, but I was really just defending somebody else. It wasn't me at all. Yeah. Gotcha. Stand by that. I'm, she believes me. That's all that matters. 
Stand by that. So wait, where were you? You were originally supposed to, uh, what date were you originally, was it the same date you were supposed to fight or did they switch the date or just you to the main event? Uh, no, it's the same date. Uh, they just yeah. switched it. And yeah, I think they had it as like the call main original. Call main. I think so, yeah. And then they switched it to main event. Yeah, they, so they bumped Corey Cheeto. Sanhagen card, right? Yeah, they bumped, yeah. so they bumped Cheeto and Sanhagen to a different date and they had you and bumped you up to a main event. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully you got paid extra for that too. What the? Yeah, you, that. <laughs> main event bonus is always nice, right? Yeah, yeah. Like that. that's good. Extra cash, <laughs> always nice. Yeah, go shopping, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. What do, you, what do you like to shop for though? Because I'm a shopping person myself. I like to. Are shop you for. like my next big thing? I want to get is well, I have a pair of like uh, regular like Louboutin heels, but I want to get like Louboutin like. Yeah, that's Which like ones? My, just like the black like booty kind of ones, like that kind of yeah. like cover. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I'm. Here we go. You're gonna you're gonna take home the W. Find the night bonus, and you're gonna go <laughs> splurge it on the shoes. Yeah, just make Warren <laughs> buy it. Yeah, <laughs> I heard KO reps. If you win the main event, he said he was gonna buy. Yeah, it. He, he says yeah. Here. Main event wins. You get any shoe you want, no matter what it is. Oh, yeah. the so after <laughs> after you get the W and you're you're it's it's over. What is the obviously you guys got like great pizza out there, but what's the best thing? that you can eat out there. So for the next fight card, when we go, we get it. What's the best food out there? And what's the best spot where you're from? Oh, where I'm from? Yeah. Uh, and, okay. Jersey. Oh, you know, it's actually, if you want good pizza, uh, I remember yes. not after my fight, but after I went to go watch uh, some other fights, uh, Prince Street Pizza is actually really good. They were really good, like margarita pizza, uh, and they make vodka pizza too. It's actually really good. Prem Street? They make what pizza? Prince Street Pizza. Prince Street. She said margarita pizza. Margarita, it's not the alcohol yeah. margarita pizza. The... Yeah, <laughs> you never heard of that. <laughs> Kept the... Nah. So what do they do? Like they is it salt on the rim, sugar on the rim? How is it? It's a pizza. Oh no, oh, it's pizza. Gosh. I think it's like fresh mozzarella is what makes it margarita, not just. <laughs> oh, my bad. Yeah. You said the other one was vodka pizza, though, right? Yeah, vodka like vodka. sauce. Yeah. Like a sauce. I'm just trying to, that's some soggy ass pizza. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, we all have our cool bus moment. Kevin <laughs> <laughs> just had his. It's all right. I didn't know that they had, you know, margarita pizza and vodka pieces. I didn't know I was supposed to know that they had these, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Culturize you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so you like food? We I'm going to go to the bar and they say, can I get a margarita pizza? They won't give me a margarita and a pizza. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. And if they don't, you can be like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, <laughs> you come out with some it's fancy good. ass pizza, I'm gonna be mad as hell. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't see you eating a margarita pizza. Do you see Kevin eating a margarita pizza? I don't think uh, so. no, I, I could see him having a pizza even know with vodka it. sauce. Yeah, he doesn't know what it is. Yeah, yeah vodka yeah. sauce, I could see. Yeah, all right, you guys, is that Chicago that sells hot dogs or is that New Jersey and New York? No, they have the hot dogs in New York. Yeah. Like, well, dogs. don't worry, Dustin over here loves a good glizzy. Oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> I don't know this inside <laughs> joke. Just, yeah, Kevin my bad. You were talking about my pizza, so you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, well, the glizzy out there you for know, him. We're trying to be a family appropriate show, main event. <laughs> you got an OnlyFans <laughs> pillow in your lap, my yeah, guy. Sure. <laughs> Check out my uh, page. I I don't have an OnlyFans page. All right, here. I'll stop. My yeah. bad, guys. Okay. Okay, Aaron. I actually um heard on a prior interview that you did that one of your goals was to uh, get you a home by your house. Is that something that you've already done? Or are you planning on doing that after your, your big fight coming up? Uh, yeah, definitely plan on doing that after this big fight. Uh, I've been saving like, it's definitely like a goal. It was a little bit of a longer term girl, I guess you'd say, um, but I've been saving for it. But uh, I think after a big win uh, next Saturday, it's definitely that much closer. <laughs> and you, so you, where you stay right now, it's not in Jersey, is it? Or you do? You yeah, live I live in Jersey. I'm, I'm, I still live with my parents right now. Um, okay. But I have uh, with that. Um, but yeah, hopefully after winning this fight, I can get my own place. That's kind of like next goal. I you still live at home? Uh, yeah. You're so, that's dope, bro. Yeah. My parents were like, get dope. the fuck out when I turned 18. Uh, yeah. My, <laughs> like, before, they're like, they're like, I'm a bit tired of you, bro. Yeah. I was like, my, yeah. my wife is Albanian, like culture. She's like, the boys will stay at home until they get married. Like, mm -hmm. Uh, really? Yeah, I swear. Like, what happens to girls? It's love. No, when they, uh, girls, they stay until they get married. Like, stay. oh, everybody stays. Until yeah, so like, oh, my son does that. Yeah, that's what I said. They live there forever. But yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't want my kid to move out. So uh, culture <laughs> thing too. Like, stay. I'm, yeah, I'm I want to stay. I'm myself. like, are never dating until y'all can live forever, right? Yeah, stay there with us. <laughs>
Are you a mom? Are you a mama's girl or daddy's girl? Oh man, I, I'm probably. You know they're gonna see this. Yeah, they're they're, they're gonna see this. <laughs> Be careful no. how you answer. <laughs> We're gonna cut this clip, just this clip, and email it to both of them. So <laughs> honestly, I think my mom would probably agree. I'm definitely more of like a daddy's girl, and I definitely was more growing up. Uh, I think now it's probably more even. Um, but yeah, I think it's they, they, honestly they're cool. They they love me obviously, and I think whenever I talk about moving out, they're both like. Oh, you can wait. Yeah, you don't have to. But I'm like, I definitely, I feel like it's like kind of around time, you know. Um, so you choosing yeah. dad, right? No, she said it's the same. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. Just because you're a mom yeah. and we're dads, don't you got- <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. girl. And now it's kind of even, especially with being like so involved in sports. He would always be like that sports dad driving like me and my brother around everywhere. Yeah, go yeah. dad. Yeah, shout out to dad. Yeah. Yeah, you got dads are awesome, right? Yeah, yeah I gotta I love, love dads. That. Yeah. The if, best. If you're on my bookie, bet dad. Bet dad. Every yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. There. Just yeah. Yeah, yeah, throw yeah, no, that out. No offense. I love my dad. No, yeah. No yeah, of course. He dads are the best, right? Yeah. Dads are the best. I'm glad everybody agrees. I feel like a better guy now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my son thinks I'm awesome. Unless he's around his friends and he thinks I'm embarrassing. Yeah. But that's nor here, say, you know, she say, you know. I'm cool as fuck. That's all that matters. My boys love me until mom comes around. Then they're like, mommy. I'm like, come on, man. Oh, so would, uh, you're not the cool one. At the house. I'm the cool one until they're around. I'm the only one at the house, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, by, by default, where where are you going to stay? You're going to so you're going to stay in the Jersey area. Get your own house. Oh, yeah. I definitely still stay in this area because all my gyms um, and everything are around here. Um, but just kind of have my own place. That yeah, be- what so what kind of do- car do you have? <laughs> uh, I have an act. A what? An act. Act. You like that? I like it. Yeah. Okay. I'm just asking. I don't know. What kind of car do you New car? Nah, you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> it's which car do I have? I always buy cars. I don't buy a house though. Just buy cars. Figure okay. if things ever go bad, I can just use them like hotel rooms, stay in different one each night. You know? Wow. Nice. Yeah. That was your son. Car? <laughs> yeah. How many cars do you have? We include the one I try to buy today. No, not me. Tomorrow morning, I'll probably pick it up. <laughs> uh, I got, I got a truck, uh, twenty five hundred truck. I got, uh, I got the Cadillac. I got the Charger. I got, uh, and I got like three old schools, four old schools. So, I got. See, quite a so few cars. clearly, cars is Kevin's guilty pleasures. Yeah. Do you have a guilty pleasure? Or that you might, uh, or maybe uh, not now, but maybe that you might want to do after. You start doing these main events and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's definitely clothes and shoes are what I'm more into. Yeah. Yeah. How many shoes you got? Oh, I don't even know. I, I definitely have a bunch. I mean, not, not as many as I'd like or like the nicer ones that I'm looking at, but I, I have a couple. <laughs> you, ever, you ever buy like any Jordans or any like Nike SBs or anything like that? Are you, are you like a shoes person only? I'm kind of more like heels. I haven't gotten too much into sneakers yet. See, me too. I'm not the yeah. only one. Kevin likes yeah, uh, heels too. Your shoes when you asked her that question. Kevin gets on me about my damn shoes. Look, she yeah. saw this picture the other day. And like, I thought they was Air Max. I was like, man, what kind of Air Maxes is those? You know what I'm saying? I was about to say, like, I ain't, I ain't seen no gold Air Maxes like that. You know what I mean? Like black and gold like that. So I was like, well, what kind of shoes is those? She was like, really? I was like, yeah, really? What kind of shoes? She was like, all those. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, yeah. Not like even- Jose Aldo? No, oh. not even. No. I thought he had a kid. It's a no. Like, That's, a, oh, okay. No, I right. wish. No, it's yeah. just a brand that not, yeah. not a big deal. So, Anyways, he gets on me about my shoe game. So, <laughs> I, but I too love heels. I love heels. Uh, yeah. so, heels are heels are nice. They're yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. But you, I mean, you got to have some tennis shoes. You have, so you apparently, know, yeah, you have to have, especially you if you're around Kevin, you got to have tennis shoes because if not, yeah. it's going to make you feel terrible about yourself. So you don't have you don't have a pair of sneakers like that. No Jordans. Uh, no, I only have like. Air Force Ones and then like Vans. <laughs> oh, what oh. color Air Force Ones? Uh, just like the plain white ones. Oh, you got the all white, all white Fezos. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, you know, if you get the black ones, you know, you're going out to commit crime. Okay. <laughs> just letting you know. Just let you know. Hey, this is the deal. It, when you get the W on Saturday, we realize yeah. we're sending you a pair of J's. Yeah. We got the other side. We're sending you your first pair of J's. Seriously. Yeah. You need a pair of J's. Uh, yeah. What's your favorite color? Uh, I'd say probably like blue. I think blue is my favorite color. We're not oh. buying you a pair of J's. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know I got blue on right now, but yeah, I you're mean, blue on now. I'm just playing. We're gonna buy you. We're gonna buy you a pair. Messing with you right there. Yeah, <laughs> we're send, yeah, we're sending you a pair. When you get the W on Saturday, we're gonna send you a pair 
uh, from the uh, real line squad. You got to have a pair of J's, especially when you're yeah. flossing through. That's that's like the victory shoes from from the closet. From right. the closet, you got. We'll, we'll get a special order from Mike Mills. Going down to Texas, Mike Mills, and we'll get you a pair of uh, Jordans. Exactly. And Cozy back here, the cameraman, he said he's going to put the extra 600 with it so we can get you some Travis Scott. <laughs> You're going to come flossing. There you go. Yeah. Cozy, remember, you said it, all right, brother? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OnlyFans. Shout out to OnlyFans. Shout out to OnlyFans for the sponsorship. Yeah. And I just got one question. Is it awkward that he's been holding that OnlyFans pillow in his lap this whole interview? Not sorry, I can't really see it. He's been kind of covering it with his arms most of the time. Oh, yeah. the way he's, the way he's holding it though, it's just okay. Orin said, <laughs> "How should he hold it?" Okay, first you of all, show how she, she's only fans. Uh, Orin said that only fans was the only place to go, <laughs> and it was the greatest sponsor on the show. So I was holding it up to give them love. Shout out to OnlyFans. If you have an OnlyFans account, you should go log into OnlyFans. And if you don't have one, you should go create one and follow everyone and make sure you subscribe. Yeah. And I yeah. like OnlyFans and everything, but goddamn, you guys need to get up an app because it's, it's not easy, like, typing that shit in every time. There's an app. No, there's no app. There's a, there's a, no, that doesn't make that, sense. Like, I can't get to my shit quick without an app. I don't have an OnlyFans. <laughs> You know, do you have an OnlyFans? No, nah, no, nah, I don't have an OnlyFans. Yeah, neither. Why not? You know, uh, all you gotta do is show your big toe. Yeah, no, nah, I, I, I'll pass. Right after training it. too, be like, be like, this is this is a Monday toe. She said she's a <laughs> daddy's this is a girl. Tuesday toe. Hey, dad's not allowing that. When she said daddy's girl, there's no. Then post your dad's feet on there. Guys <laughs> like that too. <laughs> maybe, maybe that'll convince them. <laughs> yeah, there's there's no way. Did, did did they try to sponsor you? Dad said no for real. Uh yeah, they did offer it. And I I I would thought about it, but I don't know. I think especially being like a girl and everything, there's so much that I mean, I know uh like the offer that they were giving, I wouldn't have to like post anything like that. Like it used to be all training stuff yeah. or whatever. Um, but I just know like the second someone sees like your name associated with OnlyFans, like it can kind of get a little weird. So I I didn't really even wanna like, I don't care if anybody else wants to do it, um, but it's just something I wasn't really looking to get involved in, you know? No, nah, real talk. Real talk. Yeah. I de but, you know, before yeah. everybody watching right now, you can, you can follow Kevin Holland on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to have now. I know. See, so we had this debate. I told that I was, my, by the way, my daughter's only three months old. I was going to have my daughter, Gianna, train at an all-female school and see, yeah. I'm going to have her fall following the footsteps and we're going to move to Jersey so she can train so when yeah. she's retired. She can train Gianna and then you're able to defend herself. And there they, go. and they got good glizzies out there. Yeah. <laughs> the margarita pizzas. Mark pocket pizzas. Yeah. See, see what I deal with. <laughs> yeah. see, what I, see what I deal with. Oh man. Yeah. Sorry guys. I'm not very an appropriate person. So I apologize. I should have said that at the very beginning of the show. Um, oh, you don't have to tell me. I think we know. <laughs> Right, yeah. guys in the back, we all know this. Yes, yeah, we yep. know. Head nods, we're good. Yeah. We accept you. <laughs> well, I'm really looking forward to your fight, and uh, yes. Dustin's Dustin's looking forward to going to New Jersey for Glizzies. So <laughs> let me just shut up. All right, I'm, I'm looking yeah. forward. To I can't, can't wait to to send you your shoes. Seriously though, uh, all jokes aside, uh, thank you for coming on. And we also know too, like you have you know big fight. We don't want to take too much of your time. I know we had a few more questions, but we really do uh, want to send you a pair of Jordans from the closet when you win. Um, we're we're excited about that. Um, any more questions for me? Yeah. Don't yeah. Uh, dad, bro. He's just, you, he's just here. You to guys hold the got me on this shit right here. <laughs> I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm taking fans. this home. Yeah, I'm taking. Yeah. It home. Aaron, I, wanted, I did want to ask you this: Did if you did you know that you're ranked number two on ESPN? For top 25 fighters under 25 uh oh yeah i think i did see that look a little while back i, no I don't know right? <laughs> i, I kind of remember seeing um uh, something about that but yeah that Does it, do you feel any kind of way about that i mean that's that's pretty cool um you know to be honest i feel like i i kind of hold myself to a pretty high standard so um that's something i almost like expect out of myself exactly. yeah there's yeah. nothing wrong with saying that Kind of like okay good like it's just kind of like affirming like everything i kind of like put into it for sure yeah when you have those high <laughs> expectations of yourself and you put that pressure what it, it helps eliminate a lot of that outside noise because no one's no one can put more pressure on you than you put on yourself and when you have those high expectations it doesn't bother you like hey i'm it's not in a cocky way but it's like i'm supposed to be here this is what i expected of myself this is what i do this is what i've trained myself to do and prepared myself so you just you block out a lot of that noise yeah, a lot of people there. confuse that, right? 
you know, like I don't know about yeah. you. Just when, <laughs> oh, yeah, they no, but when you say so, yeah. <laughs> like oh you're you're too arrogant right yeah. oh you got to be more humble but it's like no i i i know what i'm capable of so why would i why would i keep my gift from the world right yeah it's definitely more of that i think people can definitely take it the wrong way but it's kind of more just like i'm confident in my abilities yeah. and i know what i know what i've done um so it's kind of like yeah i should be there it's like i put everything into it so it's like expecting anything less would be kind of like holding yourself to a less standard and why would like why would you do that I'm not about that life. Yeah, you're not about, about that life. life. No, no. Do you have any main event advice? Advice for her? Oh fuck no! Don't take no main event advice for me. <laughs> I lost every single one. Hey. <laughs> Don't take that shit for me. It's <laughs> like shut down the next uh, weigh-ins. You never know. Yeah, don't listen again. Yeah, yeah. When it comes <laughs> to fighting, do not listen to me. Yeah, at all. Listen, I'll give you what to do. When you knock her down. Don't let her up. Don't let her up. Do your <laughs> thing, girl. Do your th- my only advice. Do your thing, girl. Do your thing. Uh, hey, yeah. hey, you listen to Drake? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I listen to Drake. Yeah, every time she says twenty five hundred twenty five, I'm like twenty five sitting on twenty five mil. I'm sorry, I, I had to fucking say it. <laughs> yeah. My bad. I smoked way too much weed on the way here. <laughs> I don't think I should say that, but is that thing? <laughs> it just had to be put out there. It's like I've been hot as hell over here. They got this light beaming on me. My it's armpits sweet. are sweating what? hard as hell. You know what I mean? Like this is rough right yeah. now. <laughs> and it might have been that edible too, but I mean, we're not gonna judge. No, <laughs> the judgment. We're like planet freedoms here. We're a judgment free zone. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm crying right now. My yeah. 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 Okay. We love you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to your fight, though. <laughs> I think you're gonna fuck her up. Be honest Thank with you. you. You know, I'm excited for it. Yeah, Thank you. and hold yeah. those high expectations because you're gonna be 25 sitting on 25 mil. I'm in the building and I'm feeling myself. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's the plan. So yes, yeah, not <laughs> finish her first round and then get the title shot in MSG. That would Ooh. be freaking amazing. That'd that be awesome. good. That'd be amazing. Yeah. She scratched her neck like, don't be telling people my plan. Hey, I'm I, that, <laughs> it's written though. I mean, that's that's the way. And then yeah. sitting there, I mean, credit to you. That's awesome. That'd be the that'd be the plan. Finish her the first round, get the title shot, MSG. It's about due for another one there. And what better way? Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Cause I mean, 287 was gonna be there, but then now they're going to Miami. So yeah. Yeah. They just left room for you. Uh, to they have. were like almost another Drake song. They were what? Yeah. Vegas, Houston. New York, Miami, they're going all over the cities. What, you 287? Yeah, right. Was I heard like five uh-huh. different cities. I mean, wasn't you know, Houston, Atlanta, Vegas? I don't know. Yeah, that's a song too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we're Sorry. not doing it, but yeah. 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 Hey, you probably got stuff to do. Yeah. You know, we're going to we're gonna let you go. I'm about to go find a hamburger and some french fries. I ain't even going to lie to you. And then I'm going to see if the Cozy Brothers over here got some Skittles, but yeah. And then like, and then, like <laughs> yeah, Aaron, yeah. Thank you. We and- appreciate it. I cannot wait to see your fight. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Have a great night. You too.